Hi, this is Albert van Dijk, um, and in this uh, short video, I'd like to um, briefly talk about some of the fundamental properties of ele electromagnetic uh, radiation uh, and, and about the electromagnetic spectrum, or the EM spectrum for short. Um, so although this is obviously not a physics course, you've got to understand some of these fundamental properties of radiation to be able to apply them uh, in a remote sensing context. So you may recall from your physics um, lessons uh, of old, uh, that light has got uh, uh, both part particle properties, uh, there are individual particles called photons, uh, but it also has wave-like properties. And in particular, light has got a uh, wavelength, uh, and it's got an electric uh, field and a magnetic field. It, uh, it, it um, behaves uh, in a wave-like fashion in both those um, uh, forces. Um, and um, uh, you may also know that the, uh, the speed of light is a constant, all light moves at the same uh, rate, and therefore uh, the frequency, uh, so the number of waves that passes through a point uh, over a second, uh, which we can also call hertz, uh, that's a, a, a short for how many per second, um, that is directly linked to the wavelength. Um, so uh, to, uh, uh, to give you an example, uh, we know the speed of light, 3 uh, times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, um, and so if we know a particular wavelength, for instance, we know uh, that the um, particular wave, the uh, radiation of interest has a wavelength of um, 0.3 meters, then we can uh, divide uh, the speed of light by that wavelength, and from that follows the uh, frequency, in this case, uh, 10 to the 9th hertz, or because um, we've got lots of orders of magnitudes uh, when talking about EM radiation, uh, we like to use things like gigahertz in this case, uh, which uh, incidentally, uh, one gigahertz is about the frequency uh, that your uh, mobile phone will be using. So talking about frequencies and mobile phones, um, let's have a look at the uh, full electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, and uh, what you see here is basically the, the, the electromagnetic spectrum going from very high, uh, low frequency rather, uh, and very uh, long wavelengths to very high frequency and to very uh, small wavelengths. Now one feature of radiation is the higher the wavelength, the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency, uh, the more energy. Uh, and so this, uh, at this end we'll find, um, uh, if you like, dangerous radiation types like x-rays, uh, that stuff with our, uh, our cells stuff uh, around with their cells. And at this end, you find very long uh, uh, wavelength radiation, low fre uh, frequency, such as radio waves. Uh, and uh, as you start increasing frequency, we come across microwaves uh, as used not only in your microwave machine at home, but also in uh, things like mobile phones, for instance, and in radar, as we'll see later, uh, and going through infrared, uh, which is uh, the, the frequency that um, our surrounds and ourselves emit uh, in, as we'll see later, and then into the visible part of the spectrum, which is the only little part of the, the full spectrum that we can actually see. Uh, and as you can see here, red has got <coughs> a, um, a, sh a longer wavelength uh, than uh, um, ultraviolet, it's got, uh, which is a shorter wavelength and higher frequency. Uh, and again, it's for that reason that as we go to the high frequencies, we start to have more health risks associated with ultraviolet radiation. And as you know, uh, that's why you um, slip, slap, slop in summer. Uh, and moving on to x-rays, and then uh, they call it hard x-rays, and we won't talk much about that in this course. So here's the full spectrum, uh, and um, some of the, the, um, the names we give to different parts of that spectrum for uh, good reasons. Uh, looking at it in much more detail, again, you see pretty much the same thing. You see the wavelength uh, decreasing. Uh, forget the wave number, but you see the energy increasing uh, and the frequency increasing, as we talked about before. Uh, and um, just to give you a little bit more sense of some of the uses, we see here the broadcast and wireless uh, and, uh, and the radar sort of uses. Your Wi-Fi operates in about 2.4 gigahertz. Um, you see the, um, uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, medical um, EM uh, frequency they're using imaging. You see the infrared, uh, and again, um, uh, some of the other uh, things we talked about, the x-rays, the big screen, and so forth. 
So just sort of repeating, I suppose, with some more detail what we saw before. Uh, now, one important thing to uh, to um, also remember is Planck's law. So Max Planck, physicist, uh, uh, Germany, um, in around 1900, uh, proposed a set of laws, and this is not really one of them. This is just uh, one thing that follows from it, uh, but it's a very useful rule that we'll call Planck's law, which says that you can directly calculate the um, uh, wavelength that a black body will be emitting in uh, if you know its temperature because the, the maximum wavelength, so the wavelength at which the maximum radiation is uh, emitted uh, uh, times the temperature is a constant uh, in, of about 3000. So, so what does that mean? Does that mean that everything emits radiation? Yes, everything emits radiation. Do we emit radiation? Yes, we emit radiation and we can do a little sum to see in what uh, uh, wavelength we emit radiation. So I can write it this way. In other words, the wavelength is that number 3000 divided by the temperature. Now the temperature has to be in Kelvin, uh, so that uh, means uh, Celsius plus 273. Uh, and so we can divide 3000 <coughs> by that number, the uh, absolute temperature in Kelvin, and we'll find that the um, wavelength that we apparently are emitting in is about 10 uh, micrometers. Uh, and if you uh, were to go back to the previous slide, you'll see that that's in the, what we call the thermal infrared. Uh, and that's for uh, good reasons called thermal infrared, because that's where most of us in our environment emit radiation. Um, so the Earth itself, having similar temperatures as ourselves, uh, em emits in this, uh, what you call thermal infrared. Uh, but if you look at the sun itself, uh, the source of, uh, of what we see, then you see it's obviously far hotter and therefore emits in a much shorter wavelength. Uh, and indeed, it emits in the visible uh, uh, wavelengths primarily. Uh, and of course, it's no coincidence. Uh, we've evolved to make use of uh, uh, where the maximum radiation is available uh, for us during the day to see. Um, a bit of units here, I suppose. So we can use micrometers, um, um, one millionth, we can use millimeters, centimeters, and so forth. And right throughout this course, you'll see these units being thrown around. Uh, and uh, you may from time to time uh, have to look up what is a micrometer, what is a nanometer, what is a gigahertz, uh, and, and of course um, you can find all that in your uh, usual tables or online. Um, and with that, I think this is a, a little short crash course in uh, the electromagnetic spectrum.